Hello everyone and welcome back to another GameMaker Studio 2 tutorial. I'm your host Mario back again with a well back again with a new tutorial. So today I was trying to think of what we could talk about today and then I kind of thought of this idea for talking about .ini files. So you might be like, well what is a .ini file? Well you've probably seen them everywhere. Usually a lot of programs have them and you you might know them as the settings file, like that's what they usually use them for. So what I'm going to do is teach you guys how to actually make one, put some data into it, and then take that data back out from it. And this can be really useful when it comes to making a game that you can want. You might want to have some settings like, you know, something like your volume, your graphic settings, save on that file. So just in case someone makes a mistake and they can't revert it in the game they can always revert it in the file so let's get to it so first we're going to start off by making an object and i already have this object here object 2 you might know it from the other videos but i deleted some of its code left this this one variable open just in case i need it and now we're going to hop in the manual real quick so we can understand how to make an ini file so if you look at the manual, you'll, you can you go on file handling and you can see that this has all this stuff for all different kinds of files you can do. But we're going to just focus on the INI. So you can click here on INI and you're going to click on INI write real just so you can follow along with me. So this function is just going to write a numerical value, a real numerical value into this file. So there's only two kinds of things you can do, strings and reals. Basically, you don't that's all you really need. So I wouldn't, one thing I would suggest, you don't use these INI files for saving your game data. It's unsecured and someone could cheat if, you know, if it's that important to you. It could, it, you know, it's just, it's kind of a sloppy way of doing it. And it's easier to do it the way I would do it, which is just saving it to your own file and then like encoding it. So that it is secure properly secured <laughs> anywho so we have the dot with this so we have this nice little graph here or diagram whatever in a graph and it goes through what each thing means so we have our dot ini file which is this entire the entirety of this and you notice we have like our little things like the pref sound what it equals the value so sections are pretty much just our way of organizing. They don't really mean much in the code. This is the way we organize things, which is really useful. So I recently made a change to the suits to suits two, so that we can debug it much easier. Or you have what's the proper way of saying it? I don't really know. So let me just get my display real quick. You can see. I got Bush, that's to name one of the enemies. His attack, his defense, we can change that all here. You don't need the section, but it helps because when you're getting data, you might want to say, hey, get Bush's data and then give me back this data I'm looking for. This is sections data, all that jazz. We'll go through it, so don't worry. The sections just a way of organizing our variables keys this is what our variable is named so you see we have sound music and name of well it's very simple then we got our values which is what those values what those uh variables equal to so if you still don't get that just follow along anyway you might get it so let's get started so what do we do first? Well, before we even make the file, we should always first start with a variable called fname, which this is gonna be, it just makes it a lot easier so when you change the name of the file, if you need to, you know, you, you can do it through one variable. So fname, uh, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna name it. So let's just get name it um, test.ini. Make sure you always put the extension at the end. That's very that makes sure that it's not it is the right file. And I think we need to put program directory. 
and we're gonna do plus. And this will put it in a, in a specific location. Now on Game Makers, this puts it where the exe is. However, when I tried, it doesn't actually put it there and it puts it in the app data <laughs> folder, which is something I don't really like because you have to go through it and wait for it to load if you have a lot of stuff in there. But it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna leave it like this. So now we're gonna check if the first thing we're gonna do now is before we create the file is to see if it even exists. Now, this is super important when you do it because you don't say you want to do something like I do where it's like, oh, check if the file exists. If it does, don't make a new one. Don't because then if you do, you overwrite it. So and unless we don't want to override our file. So if file if it does not file exists does not exist so we put the exclamation mark at the beginning just to say not and then we say f name so this is just if it doesn't exist let's make it so how we make it is very simple i and i open so when you're when you make a file any file you always open it and if it doesn't see that the files uh ex if the file doesn't exist by default it'll just make a new one that's what that's why we make sure we check before we make it because we don't want to make it a because we don't because if it does exist then it just opens up that file to write into it and what we have to do because we when we write into a file when we open it we must always close it to finish it off So this is a basic, ooh, this is the basic framework for making an INI file or just any file. So what's our next thing? So, well, let's just think of something we can do. Uh, let's make a, let's just make one section. So we're gonna do INI and we're gonna find Right real. So we have three things to put in here. We have the section, the key, and the value. So we might not have a section, but we still create it. If we just typed it in here. And once you make a section, it'll just like look for those sections. You know, it doesn't make multiple sections, so so you know. Let's see. So let's say, let's call this test. Oh, sorry. We have it in strings. Test key. Let's call it value one and make it equal to 10. Now let's just, mul let's just copy and paste. Let's just copy and paste that multiple times. One, two, three, and then just change the this to and we're gonna just give this like 5 15 20 and then just put one more just for a, on a different section let's call that section eat and then the key is yo and we're going to give it 100. So, make sure your object is in your room. And it is in my room. And we're going to just run it. And it's going to take some time to compile. And this is the part where I should be talking about something else. Uh, so, once we get, once we're done with this i'm going to see if it actually put it in the right place it should all right so now the game launched you can't see it on my window so what you're going to want to do is go to your app data local and hmm. well i think i might have to look in the game maker folder hold on Mm -mm. 
All right. So let's just change this. Remove this line here from F name. Just have it test I and I, and then run. This should by default put it in the work directory that GameMaker uh, establishes. You know, actually, now I think that I think you have to set the program di directory. Huh. App data, local. Let's see, if, look for YouTube, the name of your project. Yep, there it is. Hold on, let me share my display. Yep, right here. YouTube toots. Test. And now when I open it, you can see I've got all these values. So that means it worked. So let's now stop running that and let's set test to a value. So let's say test here equals, oh wait, before we do that, we first have to make sure our file even exists. So, cause we have to open it again. So file exists, and because we have it, F name, and I and I open. Oh, I'm sorry. If it open, F name, I and I close. If if I sound sick, it's just my allergies. Uh, usually in the morning, it's kind of worse for me. And I'm re always recording these videos in the morning. But I don't know if they get, I rub my face and my cat and I'm allergic to cats. So usually in the mornings, my medicine doesn't kick in or my immune system really doesn't kick in. Uh, so now we got this, so what do we do? Well, test equals, and we're gonna say i and i dot read real and we're gonna now we got section key and default so this is a little bit different from this one because we don't really set the value but we're gonna take test value three so the key is test value three Ooh, I forgot again. so this will take whatever the whatever value 3 is in the test section, which is 15. Now, if this did not, now default, what does that mean? Default is what it should fall back to if there is no value in, if there's no such thing as value 3, or there's no value in it at all. Well, let's just say, uh, let's say like 25. It's most likely, you're never gonna have to fall back to the default, but just in case, you always want kind of default thing. It all depends on what you're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So now if I launch the debugger, it should read that variable into tests. <laughs> and if I go to Object one. Yep, there it is. Test is fifteen. So that's really <clears throat> so that that comes really that's really useful when you when you're working with uh, a lot of variables and stuff. I guess you know when you want to. So now uh, I don't know what you can use beyond like settings and stuff. I think I mean other than what I'm just doing where you can literally modify suits two's data like enemy data um and you can just you know something like that's very powerful and so very useful for testing and yeah so let me just go over to the next kind of things real quickly and that's going to be it so open from string uh, so Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is. So, 
So we got read string, you know, write and read string. You're just, instead of saving a number, you're saving a string. Simple as that. Open from string. I don't know. I have to read them to this, but I don't think it's really that important. You know how to open it. That's really all that matters. Section exists. Now this is going to be useful to see if there is a section. And that would actually kind of be nice for like generating like on the fly like data. Like if you make a new enemy and you just kind of have like a thing that generates the code for it. I don't know. Section delete. This is just deletes the section. So that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty short video, I guess. 15 minutes, new record. Yeah, uh, it's a simple concept. You can use, you know, use this for quite a lot of things. But like I said, don't use this for saving data. You know, use it for settings and debugging your game on the fly if you need like someone like your friends to test for you. So yeah, you know, now you know how to use this. Now it's time for you to figure out how do you put this in your game? How are you going to implement this? So it's been real. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment below in this video, and I will see you guys next time.